Hello viewers! Today I'm gonna show you how to connect steering wheel Logitech Driving Force G29 to SnowRunner. The support for the steering wheel is not there yet, but there is a workaround so you can enjoy the game with your steering wheel. So let's start. Normally Logitech D29 steering wheel comes with a software, Logitech Gaming Software. Mine is version 9.02. This is the latest version and it does not work with SnowRunner. When we open Logitech Gaming Software, we can see our steering wheel. First, we need to go to Settings and disable automatic load when Windows starts. Then we can close our software and we need to exit it to stop the service. Now we can open our browser and we should find Logitech G Hub. Then we download it and when it's downloaded, start installation. Installation of Logitech G Hub will take some time and it will download additional files it needs. And here is the welcome screen. So we pass all this, run G Hub. Then it will offer us to import all our profiles from Logitech Gaming Software. You can do this, but it's not necessary since all of the profiles will be cleaned after importing. Now it will show us version info, what change was made and offer to send data to Logitech. We don't want to do this. So this is Logitech Chihub. As you see, it did not detect our steering wheel because officially steering wheels are not supported in Logitech G-Hub yet. But there is a way to enable support of Logitech G29 in G-Hub and I will show you how to do this. First of all, we need to find our program data folder. Normally it's located in drive C where you have your windows installed. Inside program data, we need to find LG Hub folder. And inside that folder, we will need to find file current JSON. Don't forget to take the backup of this file as it may be sensitive. Now we need to edit current JSON file. Unfortunately, you cannot edit it straight because you need administration right to work with the files in this folder. So let's open our notepad as administrator. Let's open file we need. We open find again our folder. Show all files. Choose current JSON and open. This is our file. In this file, we need to find lines related to G29. So we put edit, find G29, sorry. Okay, and this is the lines we need. As you see, there is lines required and it is false and state is absent. To enable the support of G29, we need to change required false to required true and then save the file and close the notepad. Now we can disconnect our steering wheel from computer. Also we need to exit GHub to stop the service, but there is also one more service that we need to stop. So we go to open task manager, find service called LG Hub updater and then stop the service under it. So we right click and press stop. The service is stop. Let's start GHub again. So GHub is loaded. As you see, when we connect our steering wheel, it's get detected at once. And now we can set up our bottoms, sensitivity, springs, pedals, and so on. One more thing we need to do with GHub is to create a profile for SnowRunner. So we press here where it will be written work table, add new program, and then we find where our SnowRunner executable file is located. Normally it's Epic Games, SnowRunner, then your language, it can be different. 
then source, bin, and here our executable file. We choose snowrunner.exe. Now the profile is appeared for snowrunner. Now, very important part. When you want to start snowrunner, you should keep your Logitech Chihub open. It's very strange, but otherwise snowrunner will not detect your steering well. So we will keep it open and we will start the game. Now when we are inside the game, we should go to setting and select the last tab, steering well. Now it, you see it's already Logitech G29. Normally by default it's in custom, so we change it to Logitech G29. And don't worry that all well controls are empty. They're supposed to be like this, in game everything will be okay. Now we need to restart the game, otherwise it will not work. So this is the map of undocumented controls I find in the game. You can pause the video and see it more carefully. Pedals also work and the clutch pedal also work, but it works like a function. Please note the combos in this map. So you can press the clutch and then use one of the buttons to activate different functions like differential lock, all-wheel drive, lights, or you can use joystick to switch automatic gearbox. Now I will explain how throttle and brake pedal works, as they work in a very strange way. When you press throttle, the car obviously will move forward. To stop the car, you normally press brake. But if you keep holding the brake when the car stopped, the car will change to reverse gear and the pedals will change. Now, if you press brake more, the car will move backwards and to stop it, you need to press throttle. And if you keep pressing throttle, it will then change to forward gear. Also be careful with your triangle button, as it's a fast winch. If you activate it while your car is moving fast on the highway, and it will stick to any of the obstacles on the road side, you may end up in the ditch like you see in my video. That's it. Now you can enjoy SnowRunner with your Logitech G29 steering wheel. Unfortunately, the game is still fresh. It has a lot of bugs. Hopefully, developers will fix them soon.